August. Well, on the 19th of August, we had a craft or an object hovering over Minneapolis-St. Paul for six hours in a 30-knot wind. Does everybody remember that one, or did you ever hear about that? It sat up there. Did you remember hearing about it in the news? Uh, of course not, right? Even down in Papua New Guinea, you didn't, you didn't hear it there. Okay. So the problem was it wasn't really covered very well. NARCAP, uh, I mean not NARCAP, but uh, New Fork uh, received a lot of reports. There was footage of this. And there was also an event that night in, um, let's say, northwest or yeah, northwest uh, Arizona. And I'd like to show you the object that was seen there in a 30 mile an hour wind. Can we show that, which would be Rob's footage? And this is from Arizona Research Group. 1A. Okay, where's that pigeon? <clears throat> this is, now see if I was on the radio, this is what's known as radio hell, okay? There we go. Now, from a vantage point, this individual was looking at this thing in the air, in the 30 mile an hour wind. He described it as being not aerodynamic by any stretch of the imagination. Pay attention now to these illuminations around the side. And I refer to them as illuminations, not lights, for the purpose of illuminating, but illuminations, the result of energy. And you see this one just go on? Well, it's all around it. It's very un-aerodynamic. And he first described it as being a huge battleship in the sky. What you're looking at here uh, received UFO footage of the year, or photograph of the year, from Jerry Pippin's site. And knowing the individual for four years, I can assure you this is a genuine photograph. And it is something out of this world or at least unearthly technology. How do you like that? The research coming from this area has got to be one of the, some of the best scientific, actual scientific research. This and a few other events that happened to this individual really propelled him to look into things uh, that really, really made him, let's say, question his reality. And uh, when you look at stuff like this, and I don't know if anybody out here, I'm sure there is quite a few, have had a UFO sighting. Once you have one, it's hard to go back to just uh, your normal realm, you know. Things change. Well, for this man, things really changed. 